a photo of all progressive congress vice presidential candidate kashim shetima has been shared online posing with arrested bandit negotiato to call manu mamu record that mamu was arrested in Cario by dss operatives a twitter user at uh, Africa underscore OBY sharing the photo wrote, Here is the Mamu Gumi with APC vice presidential candidate Kashim Shetima that promised to lead the national security if elected. Nigerians, be careful and vote wisely. Be careful and vote wisely. You can see that uh, this is the man who said he wants to fight uh, the insecurity head long, and meanwhile, that is not uh, his duty. People are saying it now. They are saying it. So, so don't say in case if they enter and in case Obi enters, you should be, people should be able to hold them responsible. These are the thing, things that you said. These are the things you did not say. Like I've always said, everybody's, all of the candidates are our, uh, their, uh, their business is our business because it could swing anyhow. So you need to hold them accountable. So don't tell me, say, uh, face your person. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. If you want to tackle, will be tackle. If you want to tackle article, tackle article. If Nasinubu, you want to tackle, tackle them now because any of them could win. So if they win, so what happens? Does it mean you are not going to be part of Nigeria? Or does it mean you are not going to be paying your taxes as a citizen, as a worker? No, you can't say that. Or you are going to be selling on the street, especially those of you who are not working with the government. You know that uh, you pay all these uh, fines or all these uh, deals and what have you. So are you going to say, oh, because I didn't vote for this particular person, so I'm not going to pay. It's not going to work. It's not going to happen. So their business is our business. So everything they are doing, let us look at it because that is the trend now. Oh, if face the person you want to face, let me vote for who I want to vote. Don't talk about him. Of course, that is it, but you have to talk about them. These are the things that we are saying. They are saying. And if it happens, you know, they, will not, they are not even hiding it from you. I think they are even being sincere. Oh, God just have a way of uh, pushing or ex ex exposing them. The same Kashim was seen with a bandit, Boko Haram, eating together. And they will come, some people come and justify it. Let them be justified. Don't let them push you under the bus. Don't let those who are supporting them, who do not even see things from an holistic approach, don't let them push you under the bus because they don't know what they are doing. Because at the end of the day, we are all suffering it. All the things that were being said in 2015, 2014, 2015. It was as if it was just a, you know, 10% of what they said. Because what we are experiencing is even worse than what some people were complaining about concerning Buhari. But see what we are seeing. Everybody just checking out. Nobody can say anything. But in those days, good luck, do not time. time. You can say in those days, everybody, this one go come out. He go talk. He go do. He go organize. Nobody. You now see counter protests. Nobody is going to use the police to pursue you from the streets. You do it. You go do it to your satisfaction. You go go back to your house. But now, because they know that they are doing bad things, so they don't even want you to talk. They don't want you to say anything. That is the kind of situation we found ourselves. When terrorists are in power, what do you expect? Uh, some people are justifying that. Uh, uh, so what is the so, so special about uh, holding, uh, about uh, uh, snapping with uh, all these people? Like, seriously? Just like I said, you see... A Barry Bed has stood as a shorty for Nam de Kano. See what they are doing to him. See Gumi. This man, this uh, Mamutuko, uh, is Gumi's uh, spokesperson. How do you justify that? Well, business partners waiting for one of them to become president after Ashwaju might have been uh, getting rid of. God is watching. Shetima is the main person that's working with Boko Haram and Bandit. It's not even hidden. All plan is already on the table. If they win, it will not take up to two years. They will get rid of uh, Emilio Kong. Well, Nigeria shall become a legal terrorist society by the time EPC wins. Under Tinubu, the Buhari's government will be considered as saints. No, it's just a continuity because uh, even Tinubu said that it's going to be a continuity uh, thing. Uh, it will be a uh, body will not be a uh, uh, administration will not be since compared to what uh, shall come under Tinubu Shetima APC. But God Almighty will not allow it to work. He work. He's one of them. APC vice president, vice uh, presidential candidate is a well known terrorist apologist, and that was the reason why he's aiming to be chief security officer instead of the president himself. Who does that? Who does that? 
Can you imagine? Terrorist leader by God's Boko Haram, by God's a Boko Haram, by God's Mamu, why Mamu, by God's a bandit. Average Muslim is a terrorist, 80% of them see their devilish faces. Okay, stop generalizing. In every religion, there are bad black sheep, of course, of course, of course, of course. You know, I have, I've seen a lot of people, I've seen a lot of Muslims, oh, hmm, let's be truthful to ourselves, oh, to ourselves. I've seen a lot of them that say, no, this is not it. This is not it. But unfortunately, their voices are so low. Their voices are so dumb. Maybe they are so bold, though. They can be bold when it comes to, in the, to the, uh, from the southern part of the country. All those Muslims that are always saying that, no, that is not what Quran says. You can see, they can say that. But in the north, I don't think a lot of people have come out. They will, just, they will rather keep quiet. They will rather not say anything. But I've seen some of them. I think some of them are from the southern part of the country. They are always saying that hey, this is not part the way it ought to be. But I've seen some, you know, in isolated cases, just few in this not so. But majority of them, even when they know they do, they try to keep quiet because they don't want to be uh, attacked. God will continue to expose your hiding agenda. But one thing I really want to even ask again is, this is my move. Is it the DSS that arrested him? Because I see no reason why DSS will go to Cairo in Egypt to go and do the uh, arresting. I don't think so because this guy, nothing has been ever said concerning this guy. Nothing has, nobody has said anything. Everybody was just engrossed with how the people who have been kidnapped are going to be rescued. So people were not really paying too much attention on this mammal. The how come? What is the relationship between you and uh, all this bandit that you are now? Who chose you? Who made you? And I just felt that uh, Gumi used to do that, but because of the backlash he's been getting, and he just tried to now use this guy because when Gumi was in forefront of these old bandits and telling governments to do this and that, he was the only one who were not even hearing about this too. But as soon as people started complaining about him, that said, This man knows too much. Why would the army or the federal government tell them that they don't know where these people are? He has to slow down, and that's why he brought this. Uh, to court. But the question is that why is it that the DSS did not arrest him? They did not go after him. That even this one, this is shambolic arrest and stormy is a residence and workplace. To me, now all my shakara, because it was not the DSS. According to the report, it is not the DSS that got him arrested and sent him back because DSS now told us, oh, hey, the reason why they asked him to go back, they want to do their own investigation. I bet forget, nothing will happen. No. A lot of people have said it. Nothing will happen. For Shetima to have that boldness to say he's going to be in charge of security, then you should know that there is fire on the mountain. There's fire on the mountain. Some people are just making my blah, blah, blah because they are still re enjoying relative peace in Lagos and in some parts of a part of a southwest. That's why they are, they are mad. They shout, pia, 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 pia. I hope it will not be too late. So guys, let's know your thoughts on this. Thank you.